What is up peeps, this is Following TCG. Today we have some Pokemon TCG gameplay and this is the series where we test out some new decks and strategies. So today we are doing an, an Alolan Executor deck, which is the Alolan Executor from Forbidden Light. Um, the one that's capped for 120 damage, we play it with Shrine and Sableye and Makargo. So the, uh, the strategy is to use the Excavate ability where we would get a energy that we don't want. So any of these energy here, except the grass and actually discard it with excavate so we'd get it on top of the deck with Makargo, discard with excavate so it's a very quick way of dealing damage in um so it's, it's a quick very quick way of getting those energy in the discard pile that's what i meant to say <laughs> um it's like the good thing about excavate is it's kind of like a excavate Makargo um smooth over it's kind of like a battle compressor every turn essentially is you just um use Makargo, get what you want at the top and then excavate into the discard pile so you're discarding pretty much what you want once per turn um <clears throat> plus we have ultra ball to get rid of stuff we have we can manually retreat we don't have to worry too much about retreat because sableye has one retreat as oftentimes where the executor gets knocked out i would promote sableye attach an energy we don't want oh we're playing dragonite oh i haven't played this deck yet that's fascinating. Okay, uh, so we have to be careful because Lance Prism Star is going to be looming and that's just going to get a bunch of Dragonite into the field. <laughs> that's scary. Um, I wonder how they're going to deal with the high energy costs. That's a bit bit much, I'm going to be honest. Um, this card is crucial for late game, so we, go, we are going to try our best not to discard that card. That card is critical um, considering sometimes energy, uh, grass energy will go down either when we use it or when we have to discard it. So, <clears throat> I think it's more crucial now to get Sableye. And we can Ultra Ball away a Lightning and Escape Rope and get uh, Slugma down. So, that way we have our most important two engines down. And we're going to Cynthia. Now, again, I could Ultra Ball for another Pokemon, but I want to save the Ultra Balls for discarding energy further on down the line, like here. Um... And let's go for an excavate and see if we have a top deck that we want to get rid of. No, so we're going to leave that here. Rescue Stretcher, again, is super important for the late game. Are we going to touch energy this turn? I don't think so. <clears throat> I mean, we could go for continuous tumble <laughs> just for fun and just see if we're actually going to get a knockout. No, <laughs> which is, that's fine. That's okay. So um, with that said, if we top deck, well, we know what we're top decking now, so we have to just hit the Macargo um and just well we're gonna we're gonna have to discard it i think regardless right because we want to get this turn an executor and a Macargo, which we have to ultra ball and and we are able to do it but it's just very scary i mean we could get uh an executor and a oranguru so we can um at least go for a instruct for free but we have to discard, unfortunately, our rescue stretcher. We have two rescue stretchers, so we don't worry too much. But um, it's very good for longevity. So Dragon Claw, there it is. That's a knockout. I forgot 70 damage for one energy. That's so busted. <laughs> that is so busted. Um, all right. So we can actually rescue stretch this turn, but I don't want to just, just for that. Okay. Let's do this. We're going to Ultra Ball twice. We're going to get an Executor because we don't want to just get knocked out again. And then we're going to get... Macargo. And this time, I would rather Macargo for an energy than uh, for a grass energy. Because what we can do here is Ultra Ball Macargo. No, no, no. We're not Macargoing, are we? We're going to Oranguru. Yes, because we need to hope that we hit a draw support, which is quite probable. Let's look at the top deck. If the top deck's not a draw support, we can discard it. So we're going to discard it. Yes, there's a choice ban, and that's two choice bans down. Um, but we want to increase our odds of hitting a draw support right now. Do we hit it? No, but we hit Macargo. Um, hmm. This is awkward. We're going to drop the energy here. And we're going to Macargo for a support next turn. Yeah. We're going to have one Executor left. Ay, 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 ay. The Lily might be the one we want to play. Because we can Macargo for what we want. And this may get knocked out. To be fair, I don't know how Dragonite works. Uh, put three Dragon Pokemon. We just got bound to your bench. <coughs> This Pokemon can't touch in this turn. It's Giga Impact. They're not going to Giga Impact unless they have some crazy acceleration going. Um, oh, okay. So I think I understand it now. So they're just going to be Dragon Clawing um, for decent damage. I kind of understand. So they're going to get um, Alteria out. And then with Alteria, they're going to add the damage buffs. And then they can Choice Ban and stuff like that. So they can be doing 
pretty good damage for one energy. I mean, 70 plus 20, that's 90. Choice Bandit, you're hitting 120 um, for one energy, which is always decent. Um, so that's pretty good. However, it does seem like it will take a bit more time to set up than anything. Ah, plus Devoured Field. So they're just damage modifying themselves completely. Um, pretty cool, I'd say. Definitely cool. Um, <clears throat> just a bit risky. So Rescue Stretch, I thought I was going to need it this turn, but nah, that's fine. Right, let's top deck a Grass Energy. There we go. And we are doing that so we can attack this turn, at least guarantee that we're getting an attack. We could have ran Guru for it, attach, and then Lily, because that would actually give us an extra card from the Lily. Um, so we'll do that, and then we'll Lily. There we go. So we have an extra card to draw from that. Um, that's actually quite comfortable, knowing that we have a... Oh, we could increase our damage output here. All right, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to escape Broke, and then I'm going to retreat with Save Light. Yes, I would rather hit into this, but we need to buff our down. Oh, I'm stupid. We have a Lightning in the discard pile already. <laughs> That's fine, that's fine. Let's retreat. And let's go for... Excavate. Might we need it next turn? I don't think we do. So let's get rid of that. And we can just go for a Tropical Shake for 60, is it? 80. Um, <clears throat> this is where Shrine is just going to be so crucial. But we just... We're not running into Shrine again. Maybe we need to go to a fourth because... Shrine seems to be extremely important in this list. Right, so did they Lily what for two? I believe they have knockout this turn, right? I believe they do. I mean, it's a lifty little deck. I like this, but it's just stage two. Uh, it's not really ideal. You're better off going for Galisopod. Um, if you want to do one, one, one energy damage or Bennett even could be something. Um... <clears throat> Uh, right, so this is awkward because I no 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 we're gonna get we're gonna get another energy and we're just gonna hit into it again. Uh, we're going to rescue stretch this time for our executor. So we're gonna do that. Gonna get the executor out. We only have one in this compile anyway. Is that another rescue stretch down? I believe that's two. So we got to be careful now. We might have to end up saber light. Um, uh huh. Now we need a grass energy. Oh, I top decked it, right? A lily. Right, right. Did I top deck? I top deck grass, yeah. Okay. I'm not I'm not that much of an idiot. <laughs> right, we're gonna drop a Tate and Liza. Actually, no, we're gonna drop a Cynthia and that. The reason why is because we may get they may Guzma and trap us in the active or something. I don't know for the Macargo, but are they really going to do that? No. Plus we can we can Oranguru or or we could like yeah. Think, 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 think. Let's get another saber eye, right? No, 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 no. Execute. We might get knocked out next time. We don't know. So let's play safe. And we get an Oranguru draw, which is nice. Maybe a choice band, and then we have one in deck. Nope, but we can ex ex excavate, get rid of the nest ball. Kind of pointless right now. So we can just get rid of that. And change our top deck. What damage are we hitting? 100? Yep. I would love to hit a shrine next turn, but this deck plays max potion, and that is the. Most annoying thing when you're playing a shrine deck and you're poking damage is a max potion. <laughs> Volkner. Okay, so they're going to grab another. Oh, I thought they would at least try and get a second Dragonite out, but it's like they're really relying on the one. Which is intriguing. Huh. Maybe they're confident we won't get the knockout next turn. Which is deadly because we can now... We can actually Macargo a choice band do 130 and if we find a way to get another energy in the discard pile we can do 150 which is a knockout so are we willing to risk it for a biscuit <laughs> just which route do we take which route do we take ah we're gonna, okay we're gonna move over we're gonna get a choice band right then we're gonna lily <laughs> <sighs> bugger, 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 uh, yeah, 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 Or is it better for us to drop an energy in the discard pile and go for Cynthia to hope to hit it? Uh, we're going to do that one. That one just seems, just seems better. So we're going to, we're going to drop that in the discard pile and Cynthia in the hopes of hitting ourselves into 
a choice ban. Because if we hit the choice ban, we get the knockout, which means their max potion was pointless to grab with the Volkner. So come on. Come on, choice ban. Come on. Give it to me. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is fantastic. All right. What energy do we have in the discard pile? Uh, we have all of them. So we're going to bring uh, fighting energy here. And we're going to go for tropical shake for knockout. Oh, oh that feels good. <laughs> I know. I already know I'm going to get counter knocked out somehow. I can already see it happening. We've got another executor, which is great, which means we can actually Lily for uh, the grass energy that we have left in deck. And did we get rid of our energy recycle system anytime soon? No, because we are. That's a good thing because we're going to need to bring these energy back if we just keep getting knocked out. Right. So I assume they have something, right? A rare candy. Ah, uh, see, they, I don't know why they voted for a max potion. They they clearly did their maths wrong. Or they just assumed or risked it. Because, like, I would have voted for a rare candy and, and well, it depends on what's in their hand, and just hope to hit a, um, a Dragonite. That's what I would have preferred. Uh, right, so knocking out this Dragonite seems, this Dragonite seems pointless. But if I just escape rope, all they're going to do is just... You know, they all they're going to do is just sit there and be like, well, I'm just going to bring up this one. So it's kind of pointless as well, right? Uh, <clears throat> let's smooth over mill our other energies that we don't want. We don't want this fire energy, so we're just going to mill it off with Sableye. That's great. And a good thing about Sableye is, again, we can lock off their Dragonite if we really want to. We will attach a fire energy here, just in case we need to retreat. And we're going to Cynthia because I think I would rather have the Lily in hand for a Macargo play. There's Shrine. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. There we go. Wonderful. I uh, will drop a Sableye down. And um, we can try and excavate again and see if there's an energy we don't want. Well, there's no energies. I think there's only one energy left in deck and that's the grass. So we'll keep that on top because we want that. And we'll go for that. That's wonderful. Great, great, great. And then we'll stick the Darkness Energy onto Oranguru. So if they try and trap, we can at least, you know, retreat the Oranguru. They're not going to... Oh, hit the mic. So, uh... And we got Guzma, which is great. So as you can tell, in this deck, retreating isn't a problem. Um, escape probe is there just in case we do get trapped. Like if Makago gets thrown up front, you need an escape probe. Um, otherwise, you're taking three turns to manually attach energy. It's just not worthwhile. This is currently doing... Is, when, it's, when it says Dragon Pokemon, is it including itself? For each of your evolution Dragon Pokemon. So they're doing 50 damage currently. Um, now they're doing 100. So they will get the knockout. Which means this is why I saved the Lily. Because we now need to go ahead and uh, Lily for Grass Energy. So we can... Uh, well, we won't knock this out, unfortunately. But um, we can hit into it at the very least. Or I may have made a misplay. I may have misplayed because I think it would have been better to actually... All right, let's get the last grass. <coughs> it would have been better to um, promote this and Guzma up uh, a Lele or something. But uh, do you know what? We can do that later on when we want the, the win, the knockout for the win. Yeah, I think that'd be the better play. Problem is, we're not going to get the knockout here, which is just painful. 140 HP is very good. Um, and if they evolve that, they're hitting 150 for a DCE, which is kind of good. So, yeah, so they're now going to hit 150, 170, 190. So, is it each dragon rather than dragon evolution? Yeah, so they, they're hitting 190, which means they're knocking this out as well, which means we're going to have to come in and stabilize. <laughs> Um, because I don't think we have any executes left. So we go just, we're just going to have to sable our, sable our way to victory. <laughs> this is the most awkward thing ever. <laughs> um, and we will effectively force them to retreat as well. So as a result, but we're just not doing big damage, which is a shame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this and I'm going to Guzma up a Lele or a Dragonite. And stick the Dragonite, but they just need an energy and they'd knock us out. So, hmm, let's just let's just bring up a Lele and stick the Lele. But the thing is, <laughs> they can just energy retreat, right? Which is kind of kind of sad. Ha! Hmm. Huh. Not got much going on, I'm afraid. Like, every, there's not one card I'd want to top deck here, really. I guess a Guzma would be the one, but. <laughs> this is really awkward now because 
Uh, let's 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 make our deck a little thicker. I just realised that Makargo is now pointless with this, but just just leave me alone. <laughs> I'm learning. Uh, we'll just get the grass. Doesn't make a difference really. Let's bring that back in deck. Is it gonna? Hello. Okay, there we go. That was weird. The frame rate's gone as well for some reason. Right, we're gonna, just gonna just <laughs> just gonna disable your uh, your energy drive. Oh, this is going to be a very, very painful game. But it's why I want Oranguru charged up, because at least we can hit some numbers, you know. At least we can hit 60 damage rather than 10. <laughs> With this Sable Eye being knocked out. Plus, we're not going to get knocked out by Dragonite if we get Oranguru. So we will still... Oh, if I get Dragonite They can just retreat. Uh, this is tough. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna knock this out because it's the the big damage dealer right now. We don't want to screw ourselves up there. So what we're gonna do is we're now going to smooth over for the Guzma. Right? No, we won't hit the energy. Uh, smooth over Guzma, screw it. <laughs> it's at this point where you're like, okay, just let's just get on with it. Psychic, there we go, 400 damage. Okay, another shrine. That is the least desired card for me right now, if I'm going to be honest. We need to somehow not die <laughs> and let shrine do its thing. Um... Yeah, this one is still the most damage. Don't tell me you have a second max potion, because that would kill me. Why do they heal the least the least damage? That just doesn't make sense. Hmm. Right, so Guzma's crucial here now, I guess. So we can at least... Get out of the way, right? Uh, let's move over an energy. And we will Guzma up this... Lele. And hope that they don't have retreat. Because if they have retreat, it's game over. <laughs> so we've got to hope they don't have an energy in hand. Um, because the thing is, we will win next turn if they don't. So, please don't have retreat. <laughs> don't have any retreat. Because we can attach, retreat, Oranguru for 60 damage. And then the Shrine obviously does 10 after this turn. That is 170. That is a win. So, no energy, please. Oh, they're lilied. Oh, they're definitely getting an energy. God damn it. Oh, no, they got rid of Shrine. Oh, but, yeah, okay, that's it. That's game. Well played. Ah, oh, why is every game I play just brought down to the wire? Like, that is so close. So close. <laughs> Uh, right, but that is the deck. Let me actually show you the list. I've realized I've not been showing off the list, which is the which is kind of pointless. So I will actually show the list. I apologize. <laughs> Uh, in advance, so the list is here. This is the current list. So, um, as I said, the strategy is pretty simple. It's just excavate and you smooth over <clears throat> pretty much every turn. We play Lilies to help with the Macargo draws. Um, Cynthia is our main draw supporter. Pretty much every deck of Cynthia is the main. We have two Tatalizers to help with any sort of retreat options or issues. Um, and also Shuffle Draw as well. Um, of course, we have Choice Bands for damage. We have three Nest Balls for help setting up. Um, we have Shrine of Punishment, obviously, to deal with those damages. Uh, Rescue Stretcher and Energy Recycle System. So I'm considering dropping in the Escape Rope and, and adding an Energy Recycle System. Um, considering sometimes we do run very low on energy. But I'll have to consider that quite heavily and um, other than that this is the list go try it out for yourself let me know what you think if there's any improvements you'd like to make do let me know other than that i'll leave you to it thanks very much thanks very much for watching like and subscribe and peace